ኤምባር ለመጀመሪያ ኳድ ሐንጻኹም እዚ ናይሎም አንቲ ተሕስቶ አቶ ኢሳስ ጸጋይ ሐደ አብ ሰሚናዊ ለውባዊ ባህሪ ነቲ ክግበር ጸንሐ ንሕዛት ዝምልከት መጽላዕታት የሕጽራ ቢሉ ከቀርበልናይ አድሚኹም ድማ ነቀርብ ነገና ቲ ዘለኩም ህቶታት ወይ ተወሳኺሪ ህቶታትውን አመወዳታ ነኽትብሉ በኽብሪ ነዕድን ኮሌጅ አባት እንግሊዝ ተመረቀዩ ቅድመ መመረቀውን ክራከበና ጸኒሑ ንሕነ ወንዛዕምና ከንተሓባበር ጸኒሕናይና ሕጂ እዚ መንሰይ ተመሪቁ መጽዩ አብዛ ሀገር ዘሎ እንታሽሙ ናይ ድራራዊ ታብቲ ንኸጽንዕ ተበግሹ ምምጹ የመስገንኮ አይተረፍነ ምክንያቱ እዚ እዚ ቦታ ሀብታም ቦታ ይው እ አብዚ ድማ ብዙሓት ዱራራዊት ከም ዘለው አው ኾሎ ንፈልጦይና ወይም ድማ አብ ገድለ ኸለና ሓደ ሓደ ዝራና ይኹ እንተ ዘይ ኮይኑ ሲ ያሉ ያሉ ሕጁን አፍልጦና ድሩት ይማለት ይው ስለዚ ሲ ነዚክ እንድር ኸለና ሲ እዚ ቦታ ከሕዛ ከም ዘለው ታዚው ከማንሲ ግርማና የሃገር መሃኑ እ ሀብቲና የሃገር መሃኑ ክሳብ ከንዳይ አገዳስነቱ ካብዚ መጽናዓቲ ከንድርዶ ንኸሊና ማለት ይ ስለዚ ተጽፋ ገብር ካብዚ አገዳሲ ትምርቲ ወሲትኩም ወይም ፍልጠት ቀሲምኩም ሪቶኹሙን ለጊሽኩም ከንፋኖ በአላቢ ተስፋይ ያቀንደለይ ዘኸበርኩም ሐለፍትን ሰብ ሞያን ሚኒስትሪ ማይን መሬትና ከባብን እንመና አኽብርኩም በመምጻኹም ብልቢ ከመስከን ደሊ እዚ ዘቀረብ መጽናዕቲ ምስ ምትሕባር ሚኒስትሪ ሕርሻ ስተኻይደ መጽናዕቲ እንስሳ ዘገዳም አብ ሰሜናዊ ባህሪኡ ሕጂ ድማ በኢንግሊሽ ከቀርበልኩም ማለት that um, many of the animals found in the area tend to have elusive behavior and tend to be secretive so they avoid humans which makes them difficult uh, to visually see uh, this is the map of, of the area uh, Semina Bahri as you can see in this picture uh, this was taken near Filfil uh, the area is very dense uh, which makes it very difficult to visually see what animals are present and also as mentioned earlier many of the animals have got secretive nature so they tend to be moving at night or tend to have uh, elusive behavior which means they avoid uh, contact with humans 
the objective of this project is to uh, improve the knowledge and understanding of the mammals of the areas by conducting surveys using camera traps and also by building capacity for conservation by uh, providing survey training and also by uh, providing equipment. Um, the importance of this study is that having accurate knowledge about mammals found in the area is important in order to uh, conserve, uh, detect possible impacts of human wildlife conflict and also to evaluate the uh, effectiveness of management decisions. In the preliminary phase of this project, uh, we're just trying to find out what species are found in uh, Seminar Bahari. So, a little bit about the methods. We used camera traps, and uh, camera traps are these um, specialized equipment that have got a sensor on them. And what they do is whenever an animal goes near the camera, it aut automatically takes a picture of the animal or, or a video. So as you can see, this is uh, the camera uh, being set up on the tree. So if an animal goes near the tree, the sensor will detect it and it will take a picture. The advantage of this is that you can leave the camera in the field for months. Um, and also the camera operate 24 hours a day, which means you can species of mammals uh, in the area. Um, this includes species that are very elusive to see using other methods. So for example, if you was going to do surveys using binoculars or just transect surveys, it will be very difficult to see the animals, um, some of the animals here, which we'll see in a bit. Um, and also, we also found species that were not recorded before in the area, so they were recorded for the first time uh, in this area. One of the elusive species is the leopard, as you can see here. This is around Mogo area of uh, Seminar Bahari. Uh, this is another uh, picture. This is a, a young female. And this is again uh, near Filfil. Uh, it's a leopard. Um, again, the camera takes video as well, so we can actually see the video of the animals as well. This is around Mogo area in Seminar Bahari. Uh, so this is just a female um, moving at night. This is around 5 o'clock in the morning. So using a different method, it will be very difficult to detect this animal, as you can see, because it moves uh, during the night time. It's got a nocturnal behavior. Uh, this is a different uh, male. Uh, again, that comes in the same area. And this is, again, uh, the same male, but in a different area. These are called genets, and these animals are, again, very uh, difficult to detect using other to record uh, a number of these, uh, uh, these uh, species. Uh, this is a common diker, um, uh, and a camera trap is useful in these situations as there's animals that are similar uh, looking to each other. So by, by using camera traps, it generates a permanent uh, data, which means you can compare the images. So for example, this animal is very similar to this one, which is a clip springer, but using the camera traps, you can actually um, identify them and set them apart. And this is a species which is not recorded in Seminar Bihari before. It's a honey badger. And um, uh, the previous studies uh, were not able to find this species. And we believe one of the reasons is that because he's got a nocturnal behavior, which means he only moves at night. So uh, it's very difficult to see um, unless uh, you've got um, uh, some kind of specialized equipment. We also have some species which we still have got to identify. But from this study and combining studies that were done uh, in the previous years, um, we have raised the, norm, uh, the total number of species found in the area to 25. Before this study, there was only 20 species found in the area, but now we have added an additional five species um, using the camera traps. Uh, the camera traps can also provide data on the behavior and also the ecology of the mammals found in the area. Uh, as you can see from the footage, it can reveal uh, information about uh, group size, for example, this is a greater kudu, 
Um, what we learned from, from, the, from the data is that males tend to forage on their own, but females tend to move in uh, large groups. Occasionally the male uh, is also seen with the females. Um, this is around Mogo area. Um, this is a, a male, a solitary male. Um, again, this is another male in the same area around uh, Mogo. And this is uh, around Fulfil. This is a warthog. And uh, using the camera traps, we was able to find out that uh, greater kudu and warthog um, uh, browse in the same area and they seem tolerant of each other's presence. Um, this is around Fulfil uh, riverbed. And this is uh, again around Mogo. This is just the warthogs um, uh, foraging on their own group. He also, the camera type data also revealed information about their group size. For example, in this video, we can see there's nine warthogs in the same, uh, in the same area. Um, uh, this one is uh, having a bath. And this is a, a bush buck. With the camera trap data, we was able to find out their um, uh, activity pattern. So we was able to find out what uh, time of the day it moves and also um, the, their group size as well in their composition. Uh, this is a um, uh, um, porcupine. Uh, from the camera type data, we realized that the porcupine is uh, completely nocturnal, which means he only uh, is active at night. And this is a spotted hyena. Uh, similarly, uh, we found that spotted hyenas tend to be completely uh, nocturnal. Uh, from the preliminary results, uh, it's important to note that camera trapping doesn't detect all species. For example, here we have a, a grievet monkey. Monkeys tend to be mainly uh, arboreal, so they are found in trees. So the camera traps are not ideal for detecting animals that live in trees, as um, the camera traps are usually placed uh, near, near the ground. Uh, similarly, this is a rock hyrax. Uh, this is an animal that is found on rocky outcrops. Um, and again, this is a difficult area to put the camera trap in. And this is a caracal, again. Uh, this is an animal that we didn't record um, very often. And the reason is it occupies habitats that are not um, uh, surveyed by the camera traps, such as like um, steep cliffs and terrains. So in summary, uh, study, we, re we realized that camera trap survey is an effective method for uh, monitoring the mammals of the area. Uh, data from the camera traps can also provide important information on the ecology and behavior of the mammals of the area as well. And also, finally, camera traps should be used in conjunction with other survey methods. With regards to future studies, um, at the moment we found out uh, what species are present, but we still haven't recorded all um, of the Seminar Bahari uh, area. We've recorded about 20 uh, square kilometers. The area is about 1,000 square kilometers, so we still have a lot of work to do. Uh, and also, we, can, um, uh, we still have to find out what the status of the biodiversity is. In, in order to do this, we have to continue the, um, the, the surveys every year. Uh, and this is any very important data, as it will allow us to evaluate uh, the um, effectiveness of management decisions and also to detect uh, impacts of human disturbance. In order to achieve this, we need standardized methodology, and this needs to be carefully planned so that the results can be compared. And finally, as part of the project, um, one of the aims was to build capacity and um, uh, train local personnel in camera trust usage. So um, two students from Hamel Malwa College joined us on this survey and we provided them training with how to use the camera traps. And we also provided the camera traps. We donated the, the cameras to uh, the Forestry and Wildlife Authority so that they can continue the research uh, in the future. Uh, that's the end of my project. I would now like to welcome any questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Isas.
Rain bar kabzi bo presentationi kabzi zqarabe gale na thad kum input gun kadil zile zhal gale hatta thad tulakum wa rita thad you're welcome thad tuali. بزي نيزي عندي ناتي فيل بزي ناي إنسسا زجرام نديو حجي ناي إنسسا زجرام كندي شو سنو لو نفلت تقولنا بقانتيتيف مثل بزوتر من قد الحر كينو مجمرتها بيسلاين زخونا ديتا خلينا نايو بيسلاين ديتا دمها 